Alright, what's up guys? I'm the Actac Kyle, and today we are here for Pokemon Sun and Moon Anime Review. Um, what the fuck was it? Um, I've watched episodes 1 through 4, I haven't reviewed them all on the channel, which is because I'm doing a straight up first impressions thing, review, hybrid thing, I guess. But, um, I'm just gonna talk about things I remember, I don't have any notes, and, um, and I'm not gonna do it like I do with, um, like I did with the Sun and Moon anime uh, game review. Because that was long. Nah, I just need like 10 minutes for this. There are just a few things I want to point out. Like first off, um, there are a few parody things I kind of saw. Like first off, at the beginning you see Ash looking towards the ocean. Um, what, what was that? Um, in Magi, they do the same thing with Alibaba. And, um, and Aladdin, they just look over the city, I think, or, like, one of the cities, I don't know which one, I think it was Baldod, um, but, yeah, I only know that because I recently watched Magi, um, you know, and now I'm reading it, or, well, I have to start reading it, I'm, only, like, 100 chapters behind, and then I'll probably do a review for that, but, um, you, but there was, um, shit. Um, uh, but anyways, and then there was also the, uh, in episode 2, they had, uh, the One Punch Man punch. Like, if you guys notice, or, well, like, it's even in the opening. If you notice that there, that, that whenever Pikachu won, Pikachu won for Gigavolt Havoc, it was the one, it was the One Punch Man punch. Like, like, that's how he did it. He, he just, like, straight up went into it. I mean, of course he didn't have, like, the little, like, arm thing, like, like Pikachu does, but he just went straight up, and usually it kind of, like, exploded or disintegrated or something. But I wanted to just point that one out. Um, but... Like, first, like, watching it, like, you expect it to be bad. Like, Cartoon Network didn't believe in it. They're probably the best at what they do for cartoons and stuff, because... Um, uh, there are shows like Steven Universe, Adventure Time, Regular Show, uh... I guess I could add Gumball in there, I'm not really... I'm not a big Gumball fan, but, um... But it's but it moves to Disney XD, which I guess is second rate compared like the Dis Disney is second rate on cartoons compared to Nickelodeon because Nickelodeon has come up with some crappy shows. But I want like like but but the way it is, it kind of fits more um, for like a Disney XD um, that it, it's more of a kit. It's ki more kiddish. If you want to put that into perspective, like, it's more, it has a little, like, um, more, I guess, laughs for children than it being more, like, a serious type of anime. And I'm shockingly okay with that. Like, I loved X and Y. I was for the Amor shipping between Serena and Ash. And I thought X and Y was a great direction in what was... Black Tube, White Tube. This was a st the, uh, granite Sun and Moon is a step down from X and Y, but is still better, and I mean much better than Pokemon than than Black and White. That was so bad. Like it was bad. Like you replace Brock with this um. With this, like, emotionless fucker. And then you also have, um... Uh, PMS girl, uh, Iris. And that 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 is the whole reason I hate Black and White 2. Uh, Black 2, White 2. Believe it or not. Is the fact that Iris is champion. Because I remember as a kid... I started watching the, uh, Black and White anime before... But, like, I didn't even want to buy the games because of that. I ended up playing it on emulator a couple of years later. Both games. And once I find out Iris is champion, I was... I literally shut off the game. And I'm just like, I'm not, I, I, no, no, I destroyed her and decided never to touch the game again. Or, well, not that I decided to never touch the game again, but, um, I decided that I, I just really don't like Iris. That, that's just my thing. Um, but, you know, um, what is it, uh, I know Jack, uh, our, uh, someone who's usually on here, he has a different opinion, but, um, I think... I think we had a lit. Well, I had a list, and well, we we uh, me and my our friend Neil agreed with this list. We had, um, spl uh, black and white. Um, then sun and moon. Then I believe it was. 
Johto, then Kant, Kanto, then Hoenn, then X and Y, then, uh, then Sinnoh. I think that's what our order was, but I have to, I have to ask him again, because I think he'll remember better. I don't know, though, but, uh, Jack, I think, put X and Y below, no, he put it, he did, um, black and white, um, what was it, black and white, um, uh, Sun and Moon, uh, he didn't even watch Sun and Moon, none, none, none of my friends have, other than, I think Nicole J might have, I, I gotta ask him tomorrow, uh, spoiler alert, we're recording more, uh, recording more, uh, Emerald Nuzlocke, um, but, uh, what was it, it went, um, well, it's gonna be tomorrow, meaning today, when, when the video comes out, but, um, let's see, it went Sun and Moon, no, no, it went Black, White, Sun, Moon, um, I want to say Johto, then, then X and Y, then, um, the originals, Hoenn and Sinnoh for him. I don't know, I liked, I like. I thought X and Y had more, a better story writing than a lot, but I think the thing, they, they kind of pushed, they really pushed Serena and Ash together. I mean, I, lo I loved it, um, I didn't like the, f I didn't like what they did in, uh, X, Y, and Z, but I did like how they set up the fact that, like, she likes him. Like, that was the reason she traveled with him, that she liked him. And for all of those people that are the Gen 1 -er anime people and Misty or whatever, to note, if you watch the Japanese subs, by the way, it specifically says that they are they are nothing more than friends. It was only that she was a love interest, or, or, or the wording was differently, to appeal to the United States people. So... Technical translations are wrong. Misty had never had a thing with Ash. I know Jack uh, shipped Dawn. Um, I think they. I think. Um, I know May and her, him were just friends, but I don't. I don't know about Dawn. And I know Iris kind of acted as if she was like she was PMSing like on and off like boyfriend. Like she acted as if like PMS like personality. I don't know. I say that I am not a like sexist person. I just say that because I really don't like her. That's all it is. So, any any per people out there that like that take offense to it, I am sorry. Um, I do I do not assume your gender. Anyways, um, but anyways, I've been talking about other stuff. But let's go back to Sun and Moon because that's actually not terrible. And the reason I only put it second to last is because the whole thing hasn't been out yet, so I don't have anything to base it off of. But it's beyond better. I mean, gr they usually you start in like. You're traveling to, or you're in can you're in Kanto, or you're traveling to the next region for Ash. Um, I so I thought this was a good twist of things, I guess. Um, and I also enjoyed that there were no Team Rocket until the first, until like the third episode. I liked that. I liked that we ca can could move on from them, and maybe we they don't have to be in every fucking episode. Like, that's, that's where I think it, I think it should get to a point where there's no more Team Rocket in the shows. Like, maybe an appearance now and again, but they have to, I think they should be, like, more for, like, comedy relief and never be involved with Ash. I think that is a good step towards it, but if no one else agrees with me, that's just my opinion. Um, let's see... Um, I like the fact that there was no Pikachu thunderbolting them all the time. I love the fact that Beware picked them up. That was that was funny, and I like that they have Mimikyu because now they kind of have an Ash. I mean, they have a Pikachu. Like they they can now like they they can now mimic. No pun intended. I literally just was just like making now mimic. Oh man, Ash and um and Pikachu and um. I think eventually James is going to get Beware as, you know. And I also like the fact that um, they're hinting towards him getting Litten, and I think they're, I think he has Rallet, um for his, his thing. I'm hoping he doesn't get Poplio only because Lana has Poplio. It's not the fact that I don't like Poplio. I love all three of them. But, um... I just hope, like, I, I don't like Litten to begin with. I don't like the base evolution of Litten, but, um, but I love Tora Cat and Incineroar, um, except I do have a problem with Incineroar's Z-move, because it's not a Moonsault, so, yeah. 
yeah, uh, Pokemon, get get your facts right. <laughs> that that is a flip. That is a that is a certain degree splash. I don't know what I don't know what degree it is because I haven't seen the fl how many flips yet, or well, I don't know how many flips yet, but you know, whatever. Um, let's see. There was a. Uh... Um, I like that Ash has, has, I guess, love interests in this, actually, or, like, it sort of looks like that. Um, you have Mallow, who's a, um, who, who's more, like, into it, and it seems like she, she's, like, leaning towards it, and I also like that there's Lily, um, but there's no, like, it's not like you're pushing it towards, um, towards, um, what is it, uh, Ser like, like, Serena, like, like, that she likes him, but she grabs him by the hand, and I, f it, sh it might just be more that she's clueless and, like, a, a dunce or something, or she's more, like, um, uh, open-minded, or, like, or she's, like, out of it, more, more or less, because she's in her lush jungle, but, um, she's not, like, like, but she's, she's, like, she's acting like, you know, she kind of, like, likes him, but it's not to the point where it's, like, uh, frickin' Iris, where, where you have to have a toot every single time Ash says something, so I'm, like, I like that, and I like that Lily, uh, has a problem with Pokemon, um, because it kind of relates towards the game, um, and I thought that was cool. Um, let's see, the mom is always okay with him being there, so, you know, um, I don't really see what the problem was, but... Um, in the games, I found this interesting. You can take the island challenge when you're 11. So does this mean that Ash has finally grown up? Because, I mean, just, just like, because he says he's going to take the island challenge, so that, that, that's my only question for, like, anyone clarifying, like, is, can Ash progressively get older, or is he older? Are we finally seeing him be 11? Now... I find it interesting if maybe he's the first person to take the league challenge, and I think that his final opponent, like, like instead of, like, actually being there, maybe the champion is Kukui, or, well, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. I hope, I hope no one got that, but I hope that the champion, like, oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't watched it. Uh, just, like, skip towards, like, a minute or so. Professor Kukui basically is your first title defense holder as champion. So I'm hoping and So I'm hoping that because he's... Oh, yeah, you guys can come back now. Because he, uh, so that way, like, because he created it, maybe he can be the champion of it, and then Ash, like, it's, it's Ash's, um, let's go with Ash's, like, Pikachu, because he has, because maybe he'll have the, um, the Pikachu Z-move, spoiler alert for that one, the, uh, well, there's Catastrophe Pika, but I'm, I'm just not talking, I'm not talking about that one, I'm talking about, um, Ash's, uh, Z move, spoiler alert, or well, Ash's Pikachu Z move. So, I'm not saying what it is, so kind of not spoiler ish, but you know, still a really big spoiler for the games because they haven't even come out yet. But, um, you know, um, Pikachu, uh, but I, I think that'd be cool if, like, it was his, uh, Rock Ruff or his, or what will probably end up being his Lycan Rock versus, uh, Ash's Pikachu. He uses the Z move, but, he uses a Z move and Ash's Pikachu loses. I'm hoping for that outcome instead of there always being this like um this this tournament challenge thing. I hate those. I would I would rather Ash lose to an Elite Four member than for Ash to um go up against the um the stupid trainers because right now he doesn't have a rival, which I'm ha I'm extremely ecstatic about. Yes, there's Kiawe, but I think that's going to be dealt with way before the Elite Four, because he hasn't, he didn't act like a rival in the last two episodes, but, um, if you want to, if you want to have a rival, Kiawe is going to be your rival, he's, he has the, uh, Z-Ring, he'll have the Z-Move, so probably before, they're probably going to see who's going to fight the Elite Four first, Kiawe versus Ash, I'm hoping Ash wins, and then, um, and then, like, he can he can try to go up against them, and, um, and he loses in the final one, the Kukui. 
Or maybe he loses to someone else. In my opinion, I would love that, but, you know. Um, let's see. Uh, Tapu Koko and Ash. Uh, eh, don't care about that. Um, I'm just trying to recount everything. It was interesting seeing two canon really early already. Um, for anyone who hasn't, like, played, like, up to the Elite Four, it's basically a spoiler for everyone there. Um, because, like, I don't think you're, you're like, pe so, like, I, I know there are a lot of people that must have looked at some of the leaks, and, you know. So it's not that big of a deal, but, you know, it's whatever. Um... Trying to think. Um, let's see. Some questions I have, I guess. Bef um, I won't be doing a review every week. I'll only be doing a review every single time I think it's worth it. Um, but, um, let's see. I don't know. I'm just going to ask a couple of questions here uh, for your guys' opinion. So, first off, what's in the, in the intro? What's in Lily's, what's in the egg that Lily's holding? Um... Do you guys think it's Cosmo to uh, to go with the uh, X and Y stuff? Um, do you think that we're going to see Ultra Beast and um, and the Aether Foundation possibly? Um, uh, I think we're gonna we're definitely seeing Guzma at one point because because we do have Team Skull, so you know. Um, Let's see, uh, do you think they're gonna talk about the Pokemon leak? That's, that's a good question. Um, will, uh, how is Ash going to have school and take the trial challenge? Is, is it just gonna be like, they're gonna have a break, and then he'll go to another island, and then for the week, they'll have, um, they'll have Lana's, um, Kiawe's, and, um, Mallow's trials all in one day? Because you have to assume that when they're having school, that that's when Ilima is going to be involved somehow. Like, like th that's probably going to be dealt with by the 10th episode, pro probably. But I highly doubt it. Um, so you probably have to assume they'll be on break, a break for a week, and that's when Ash will deal with all of it. Um, but I'm just asking, how do you guys think that's going to happen? Um, what is Ash's full team going to look like? Because we only have two Mons being Pikachu and uh, Rallet. Um, highly unlikely. Very, very, very. Like a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, an Alolan Raichu. I highly doubt that. Unless some some bullshit shenanigans happens. But I think Litten's going to be on his team. I think that we will probably have... Uh, may prob maybe Wishy-Washy. Maybe Wishy-Washy, because I think that'd be cool. Like, at least as, like, a um, a temporary mon. May and then maybe you have... Um, what is it called? Uh, Marini. I think that'd be cool on his team. But I think that might go to a... Um, not a, uh to a rocket uh one of the rockets um oh uh, man there's just such a list of mons um I don't think he's gonna get Grubbin I think that Sophocles is gonna have a uh, Vicky Volt just my opinion um but you know uh, Ash never has like any other electric type so that's highly unlikely too um but I'm hoping that um that it keeps going well I think that the way that they have set have it set up is really good, and I think that uh, if it progresses, it's probably going to be better than Johto. It will probably, it probably will not be as good as Kanto because Kanto's the original. You can't just say it's better than that right now, especially with like everything that's bad. Also, people are saying that the animation's bad. It's not the animation that's bad. It's literally Ash that looks like complete and utter garbage. Like change him back. Or, like, at least change them into, like, looking like, uh, Mallow and, like, all of them that look, like, better. But he just, he just looks like, ugh. Um, but, um, I think that on Disney XD, I don't think it's gonna thrive. 
So I think that what they should either do is, I think what they're probably going to end up doing is they're going to put it on, um, they're probably going to end up putting it back on Cartoon Network maybe when 8th Gen comes around, but if it stays on Disney XD, I don't think any, like, um, like any, any views are going to be truly on there because there's only, because if there are, it's only going to be the Pokemon people, and it's not going to help Disney XD like they would hope. Gravity Falls helped it, um, because it was a Disney original, so maybe they're just like, oh, maybe Disney originals are going to be on there, but this is in anime. This is like, they're only going to be watching it for Pokemon. No one's going to be watching the Yokai Watch, no one's going to be watching, um, the other stuff on there. I, I don't know, I only, I've only watched the, car the Cartoon Network shows, like, for cartoons to be honest and that list of things is not good like it's really short and, and it includes pokemon like there are there are certain shows i will stay the fuck away from because i hate them and uh one of them was like my childhood so like it's really bad and you guys can guess which one it is <laughs> but um let's just see uh what's in lily's egg will we see the aether foundation will we see ultra beast um how, uh, do you think there, the league will be made and Ash will take it on, or do you think it's going to be some stupid bullshit tournament? Um, how will Ash take trials and other stuff? So if you guys, but, oh wait, oh wait, overall, I recommend to watch at least the first couple of episodes to see how you like it, the episodes that are out now. It is out, four episodes are subbed, two episodes are dubbed. Um... And then there were pro the dubbed episodes will probably be on by the time that I'm that I'm that I'm like this is up. So there's no reason why you guys can't watch it. I'd watch it personally. Um so yeah, just take a shot at it. It's not that bad and it's Pokemon. I mean, what's the worst that it can be? To be honest, I get that the animation's bad, but that's the argument that everyone has with One Piece. Like the the artwork is so bad. But the story is so good. Like, I mean, I get that this is a children's thing and there's no story, but it's Pokemon. That's that's the argument. But the story, like, for One Piece, the story is so amazing that, that you don't care about the artwork. Because that's how I felt at the beginning. Um, But, um, but Pokemon, I felt the same exact way, and then I decided to watch it, and I like it. Because I don't look at, like, for the artwork or anything. I just look at it. Um, but anyways, there's one more thing I want to mention, and I'll repeat my questions. Um, well, actually, no, I won't repeat my questions, just go back to the questions part. Uh, two, two more things I want to mention. Lily's voice sounds bay as fuck. Mallow's voice, and this is for the dub. Lily's voice sounds bay as fuck. Mallow's voice sounds like it should, and I don't mind it. And, um, and, uh, Kukui's voice sounds worse than I thought it should have. Um, anyways, overall, watch it, please. It gets, like, a 4.5 out of 5. The only thing that I hate is Team Rocket's back. That's literally it. I hate Team Rocket, and you guys can argue, why do you hate Team Rocket? I just, it's just a personal thing. But it's not that, and I thought, it, I think it just gets repetitive and old, um, but I think that maybe there should be, like, for every single region, I think it'd be cool if we got, like, different personalities for, like, a two-grunt team with their talking mon. Like, maybe we got, like, a talking Alolan Meowth. I think that'd be cool, but, you know, that's just me, um, but, uh, you know, if you guys have enjoyed, leave a like, um, and, uh, subscribe, as always, it helps me out a lot, we're almost 250, so it helps, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video, peace.